So a couple of days ago, I did a video on the base model M2 MacBook Air and easily the most recurring question was this. If I do wanna upgrade, but I have to choose only one, do I upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM or 512 gigabytes of storage? Well, let's ramble. Hold up. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So like I said in the intro, I did a video about why I believe the base model M2 MacBook Air will be enough for most casual users. And let me just say a quick word of thanks for all the positive feedback you guys gave me on that video. That computer, especially the base model, has gotten so much hate on YouTube. So many channels were throwing completely unrealistic benchmarks at this machine and then crying outrage when it didn't perform the same as a top MacBook Pro. The M2 MacBook Air is not a pro device, plain and simple. It's an everyday Mac for everyday users. And as such, it's a fantastic little machine that feels amazing to work on and definitely looks the part. With that said, there is a group of users that feel they need a little boost, a little spec bump up from the base model for various reasons, but their budget will only allow them one of those spec bumps. Upgrading is not cheap. Both the RAM upgrade and the SSD upgrade are $200 a pop. For that reason, the most frequently asked question in the comments has been, do I upgrade the RAM from eight to 16 gigs or is it better to upgrade the SSD from 256 to 512 gigs? Well, I guess the first question you should ask yourself is why you want this upgrade, because I feel a lot of people think they need this upgrade based on all the hype videos telling them the base model is a piece of junk. Trust me, it's not. It is a perfectly capable device for your everyday computer tasks. But let's not dwell on that. I've spent enough time making that case. So let's assume you're one of those users that does a lot of multitasking using resource intensive apps and you feel the machine slows down on you when you have too many processes running. What is the best thing to do then? Before we take a closer look at the question of whether you should upgrade your RAM or your SSD, let's consider alternative options. The reason why I'm saying that is that upgrading the M2 Mac might not be the best option for you. For instance, if the reason you wanna upgrade your machine is because you're trying to use this machine as your main video editing computer or other use cases that fall within the pro category, I would advise against upgrading this M2 MacBook Air and go for a MacBook Pro instead. Upgrading your machine to either 16 gigs of RAM or 512 gig storage still won't get you what you need in those scenarios. And if you upgrade any further in terms of price, you'll be getting into that MacBook Pro territory. And I'm referring to the 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro, not the 13 inch M2. To be honest, I'm not even sure why that machine exists, unless you really, really like that touch bar. The 512 gig storage model is the same price as the 512 gig M2 Air model, but the Air is much thinner, has a larger display, thinner bezels, Battery's about the same, and in most situations, is just as fast. So I do not consider the 13-inch MacBook Pro a true pro model. Anyway, if you're looking to use your M2 Air mainly for pro applications, you're gonna want the 10-core model and at least 16 gigs of RAM. The 10-core model comes with 512 gigs standard, so that's a plus, but we're now looking at a price tag of $1,700. That's only $300 away from the 14-inch M1 MacBook Pro, and if you upgrade it to 24 gigabytes, the difference is gone but the M1 MacBook Pro is far superior in almost every way. It has a 16 core GPU, better speakers, better mics, bigger battery, active cooling. It's got that amazing liquid retina XDR display, and it has all the ports you need, including three Thunderbolt 4 ports, which means you can hook up more than one monitor, unlike the M2 MacBook Air, which has only two Thunderbolt 3 ports. So in my humble opinion, specking out the M2 MacBook Air makes zero sense and you would be much better off getting a pro. Now with that said, let's get back to the original question. You're not a pro user, but your workflow is intensive enough that you feel you need that boost. What should you do? Upgrade the RAM or the SSD? I will give you the short answer first and then I'll explain why I say that. In my opinion, almost in every scenario, it is better to upgrade the RAM. The best thing to do is to think about your personal needs, current and future. Will you use a lot of resource intensive apps? Tons of Chrome tabs running all the time. Multitasking with a lot of resource intensive apps like Lightroom, upgrade the RAM. If you use apps like Lightroom, 
definitely RAM over storage. 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage performs much, much better than eight gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. Now, I'm not gonna run a bunch of benchmarks to show you guys, it's already been done. If you wanna see the exact numbers, I recommend checking out a channel called Art Is Right. He ran a bunch of very useful tests and I will link to this video showing all the benchmarks in the description below. If you want to use that M2 MacBook Air for video editing, Final Cut Pro, etc., and you plan to export ProRes 422 files, which is the ideal file type for that program, more RAM will be significantly faster than a bigger SSD. But again, if this is your main workflow, it is my humble opinion that you have no business looking at a MacBook Air. You're gonna wanna get a MacBook Pro, not the M2. Future proofing, also RAM. You can always use external storage, but in a few years time, eight gigabytes is not gonna be a lot. There is one scenario where the larger SSD is actually better than the bump in RAM. And that is if you transfer very large single files very often in apps like Photoshop. And I'm talking about 15 gigabytes plus files. A larger SSD will give you better speeds then. But if you're working with such large files, which will most likely be media files, you already know where I'm going with this, you probably are the kind of user that would be better off using an M1 MacBook Pro, which will run circles around this M2 MacBook Air, for this kind of workflow anyway. And lastly, if you store a lot of files on your actual computer, even if that's temporary, you obviously will need the space. In that case, choose more storage. You can't upgrade the internal storage or the RAM once you've chosen your configuration, so it is important to decide what is right for you before you pull the trigger. But please, please keep in mind that any of this is only relevant if you're worried the base model is not going to be enough for you. If you are, your average browser, your emailer, YouTube watcher, and MS Office user, the base model is going to be just fine. For almost everything else, more RAM trumps the bigger SSD. Guys, I hope the video was useful to you. If it was, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.